Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we will be talking about the breakdown on this pattern that we've been watching closely this week. We will touch on what that means for Bitcoin and what we could possibly expect over the weekend. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel, as always, is to empower you guys, the community with the knowledge and resources to help you guys get up to that next level. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you've been here before, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Let's dive right in. So it's been a pretty not too interesting week in the market. As you can see, we went up as high as 35 293 and then we've been rejected every time. Basically, you'll see for three days in a row, we retested 35, got rejected, retested 35, got rejected, and then finally broke down from this symmetrical triangle that we had here on the short term to the downside. So with that, it took us all the way down as low as 32,000, where we did find some minor support. As you guys can see, we've bounced there multiple times before as some minor support. We are currently bouncing back up today, so far up around 2%. So now all is not lost. What we can do here, we can still move the support here now to where the levels are currently at and see if this new story makes sense now you know we can um see that the support is still here we still have these two lows and then the higher low here so as long now now the issue here is we need to set a higher high as long as we set a higher high then you know this pattern continues here if we do not set a higher high then we'll probably get pushed down by this the same triangle that we just got pushed down from that's going to still be around that thirty five thousand dollar area. Remember that I said that we would see the move by the weekend and we did. We got the breakdown, unfortunately. Now for this move here, we could expect a decision here probably by around Sunday or Monday. So if we do continue to break down and we cannot hold here, we can expect to continue down and we have that support at thirty two. We have another minor support at 31 and then the bigger support is of course down at 30 and the biggest uh, support area that we have currently is at 28. Remember, we do not want to see this price fall below 28. If we did fall below 28, we're falling into this next zone here. In this zone, the bottom of this range would be 20 to $18,000. So we don't want to see that happen. We want to make sure that we stay within this range. So that's what we're really watching for here. But usually the thing is the longer we stay, you know, in a range here, the more likely it is that we fall to the downside because the current short term market has been to the downside. The probability is to the downside the longer that we stay within a range. So we definitely need to break to the upside soon. As you guys saw here in the last few months, we were just trading in this range, trading in this range, and eventually we broke down and now we're trading in this range, right? We need to break out of here very, very soon or Again, we're risking dropping, losing this support and dropping into this range, which would definitely put us in a bear market and we could probably spend possibly the rest of the year down here. So we definitely don't want to see that. So we need to get this break above 35K. Now, what to expect this weekend? Again, we just have to wait here. I, I believe we're going to stay here in this current range right here that we're trading in below 35 with the low around 32 until we get a decision on which way bitcoin wants to go now the past couple of weekends we've had gr pretty much green weekends so hopefully we can see the same thing this weekend remember that we had the grayscale unlocking event it's the biggest unlocking event ever in the history of a uh, grayscale unlocks which could bring volatility into the market next week and probably the week after that the big event 
is on July 18th. That's gonna be the biggest day of unlocking. I recommend you guys watch this video that we dropped yesterday. It's a video about 10 minutes long and we break down everything in depth on what Bitcoin has done in the past when there's been these events over the last uh, six months. So with that, we should definitely be expecting some volatility next week, which we kind of need it in the market. There has been very, very low volatility here lately. In order to make a move up, we definitely need volatility to the upside. Now, you know, with the volatility, we could go to the downside, but we'll just have to wait and see next week. Now let's talk about a couple trade setups for the short term and for the long term that I will be looking at if the price reaches these points over the weekend. But first, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Liddy Capital. Liddy Capital is a Swiss private equity focusing on litigation finance. They are tokenizing its shares onto the blockchain. The digital shares called Liddy tokens are asset backed by investment in pending careful selected legal cases. These KYC required tokens allow any investor to engage in the high performing litigation finance market previously only available to elite investors. Liddy token holders have shareholder rights and access to dividends. 80% of profit distributed will be paid out in dividends. The tokens launched yesterday, so you can now purchase Liddy tokens at liddycapital.com. All right, guys, so for short-term trade setups, basically we're watching this one level this weekend, which is 35K. 35K has been a big resistance here. It's been a support as well when we've been above it, and it is a Fibonacci level. So you can play this level one of two ways, right? Or you can play it to the both ways. It's up to you, however you want to treat it. You can either long it when the price breaks above it, or you can short it when the price breaks above and drops back down. So because we've been rejected so many times here, it is kind of a good idea to try to enter a short position if you see the price goes above it and gets rejected back down. Once it gets rejected and you see the price fall back below 35, you can enter a short position. Again, I'm using very small risk on these uh, under 1% per trade because there's really no direction yet, right? But we can take some small scalp trades and earn a little bit of profits while doing so. So that's the level we're gonna be watching for both long setups and short setups. Now for long-term uh, entries for dollar cost averaging, I know there's many of you uh, doing that out there. We're entering, we have entry orders set up at 30,000 and at in the 28,000 area. Remember guys, don't set them up exactly at 30,000. Anywhere in a 30,000 range is fine. The same thing, anywhere below 29,000 is fine as well. Um, those are definitely two good spots to dollar cost average if the price were to fall that low. Last but not least, as far as the Wyckoff accumulation pattern that we have been following here for the last two months, you can see that it's still intact. We still have the spring here with the test of this support down here. We have the move up. We've been setting the higher lows and uh, we're still on this support here. So we still, we're still, it's still intact. The pattern's still intact. We need that move up. Uh, remember I told you we need a higher high. That higher high target would be around $38,000 before a probably a pullback down to 36, 35, and then a continuation up to 40 to 42. So if this pattern plays out, that's pretty much what needs to happen. And that's what would confirm this pattern here into phase D and then eventually phase E would be a break of 42K. So again, we just have to continue to let it develop and, and continue reassessing every time we get, you know, we give it some time. So let's see what happens with that. We'll update you guys again on Monday. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, guys. It helps us a ton with the YouTube algorithm and it only takes a second to do. It takes us a couple hours to get these videos together. It takes you a, a one or two seconds to smash the like button while watching this video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Just turn on the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as we post videos. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing weekend. Hopefully, we can all make some profits. Again, I will see you on Monday. As always, peace and love.